Hi, I want to walk you through our more traditional studio art track here at Flow Arts. Our gallery shows a wide range of shows, including visiting artists and also the students themselves. Every two years, there's a faculty exhibition that allows students to see exactly what their instructors are up to. Hey, this is me, Dan Askew. Um, I teach uh, 2D design, 3D design, sculpture, and ceramics here at Flow Arts. Now I'd like to talk about 2D design. It's one of our foundation courses uh, important for all students in visual arts. The best way to learn the elements and principles of design is through abstract imagery. Visualized text is an important tool in any artist's toolbox. Gain the graphic impact of bold design. Rational geometry becomes the foundation for composition. Complex texture becomes a surrogate for value. Exploring complex geometries in our relationship with the natural world. A variety of assignments will help develop color sense. 2D design culminates with applying modernist design to structuring information. In 3D design, students learn to apply compositional strategies to the third dimension. Projects like these allow students to see the relationship between two-dimensional and three-dimensional imagery. There is an empowering satisfaction in bringing a simple block to elegant form. All students learn some basic woodworking techniques and more complex woodworking techniques bringing such disparate elements together. One man's junk becomes another man's treasure. I teach that electrical wiring isn't as scary as it seems. Ceramics is a very popular elective for all visual arts students. Once past the learning curve, many students thrive on the wheel. The expediency of clay allows students to thoroughly explore an idea. The ability to combine materials and processes has become a keystone in contemporary art. Sculpture is a course required of all studio track majors here at Flow Arts. Working with steel, students have created these panels which have become part of the architecture here at Flow Arts. Besides woodwork and metalwork, there's also bronze casting, utilizing a traditional lost wax process. In sculpture, mixed media is always the name of the game including kiln-formed glass. Students are encouraged to look outside themselves and address social issues. Painting is another required course in the studio art track and is taught in this new addition to Flow Arts where students can take advantage of the natural light. Painting is taught by Sarah Alexander who is also the Flow Arts Gallery Director. In painting, students learn several approaches from still life to abstraction. An important part of the painting curriculum is a phase where students spend a lot of time dealing with their own self-image. Students are always given the chance to break away and explore their own personal style. And as with any course of flow art, students are always encouraged to thoroughly develop ideas. And though not always offered on frequent rotation, students always enjoy the opportunity to paint from real life. Hi, this is Charles Marsh. I teach primarily drawing and printmaking here at Florida School of the Arts. In Drawing One, uh, we work with some of the basics. Uh, we start students with perspective. Uh, we deal with cast shadows, composition, line, shape, value, form, texture. Uh, all of those basic things that you need to know. Uh, we also use a variety of materials like graphite, charcoal, pen and ink, ink wash, Conti crayon. And when weather is permitting, we go outside. Now, when we're outside, you could be drawing with pen and ink, you could be drawing with charcoal or graphite. It depends on where we are in, in the process. But the students like to get outside once in a while. Uh, drawing two is primarily a figure drawing class. Uh, we still use the basic materials that we use in drawing one. We use graphite and ink, ink wash, uh, charcoal, uh, but we also have students do a series of studies. Most students don't like to draw hands and feet, so we have them draw a lot of hands and feet as exercises. Uh, we also have them do exercises utilizing uh, old master drawings. This gives them a chance to study the techniques that the old masters use when drawing. Later on, we get into color, uh, which is a nice 
nice addition to figure drawing. In printmaking 1 and 2, printmaking 1 starts with silk screen, which is one of the, the basic and easiest printing methods. So that's where we start. Uh, the students are required to do a one color print and then they're also required to do a multicolored print. It has to have at least three, three colors that helps teach them registration and en enhance the printing process. The next process that we use is relief or woodcut. Uh, students can use either wood or linoleum to work with and they can print on a variety of materials like cloth or Japanese paper or fine art paper. Um, next we go to intaglio. Uh, intaglio or etching is a process where you use metal plates and acid to etch your image and you can get some beautiful qualities with it. It's an old printing process and there are a lot of different techniques that the students can choose from to create an image. So that helps sort of round out their printmaking one. Uh, if they choose to go on to printmaking two, the other pro one of the other processes that they can learn, which is too complex for printmaking one, is stone lithography. And a lot of the students really enjoy stone lithography. In addition, in printmaking two, a student can expand and explore any of the processes that they've learned to the, so far, and it gives them a, a much greater depth of understanding in that process. Uh, we certainly look forward to seeing you when you come here to visit us, and thank you for your time. From pinhole to pixel, sever point to pigment ink, the Photography Specialization brings historical perspective to digital technologies. Confirmed by the belief that teaching essential technical skills, along with contemporary practices and ideas allow for the broach opportunities and for the boldest solutions to an evolving medium. A full black and white processing facility equipped with dark room enlargers and a modern lighting studio designed for pre and post production photo shoots. Visual Arts 0152, Photography Specialization Associate in Science Degree at Florida School of the Arts.